Hello all, uh, welcome back to my channel, uh, Knowledge Base. If you are new to my channel, I request you to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit on the bell icon to get the latest updates. So the topic for today is Simulink. Uh, but before I start with Simulink, I would like to talk a bit on uh, MATLAB because Simulink is a MATLAB product. Uh, uh, MATLAB was developed uh, by MathWorks. Uh, MATLAB means Mathematical Laboratory, which is uh, uh, used to carry out the mathematical operations. And also it's used for programming of different algorithms in the field of image processing, signal processing, etc. And uh, the Simulink, the MATLAB product, uh, is used for model based design of the system. And it's used in domains such as automotive, aerospace, signal processing, etc. So uh, for you to use uh, Simulink, you have to have the MATLAB installed. So this is the MATLAB GUI. Uh, here you have the command window where you can type in your commands and execute the commands. And here you have the workspace where you have uh, where you'll have all the list of variables that is used in your coding. And here you have the current folder where you can have, you see all the files that is used uh, in your project. And uh, in the toolbar you have a new script option where you can uh, click on this and start uh, the new coding or new scripting uh, in the MATLAB. And uh, <clears throat> to start with the Simulink. You have here uh, the start simulink icon. Uh, you can click uh, on it, or also you can uh, type the command simulink to uh, you know uh, to go into the uh, start page of the simulink. So let's just type simulink. Okay, simulink is initiating. Yes, the Simulink is initialized and uh, we have the Simulink start page here. Uh, here you have uh, different uh, you know, templates uh, uh, on the, uh, based on different applications like for aerospace, audio systems, communications. Uh, but for us to start with Simulink, we'll start with the blank model uh, by clicking on this blank model. Yes. Yes. Now we have the new uh, Simulink model uh, uh, here. So it's not saved, we'll just save it. So we'll just save it here in the uh, eDrive as new model. Yes, yes, yeah. Now it's saved. Now our model is ready. Like now, next question would be how do we add the blocks into our model? How do we add blocks into our model? So you can just, it's very easy. We can just click on the library browser here and you get all the blocks that is there in the Simulink. You can just right click on it and add model, uh, add the block to model, new model that is created here. So it gets added here. I think, yeah, it's added here. See, integrator is added. Similarly, if you want to add some other blocks, you can just uh, add it in the similar way. You can just click it here. You want to add again block, say right click, add to new model, it gets added. And uh, say for example, if you want to change the parameters of it. So if you just double click it, if you want to change the gain value to five, you can just add it, apply and okay. So this is how you add the blocks into your new model. And other options that we can explore here is like, if you want to create a new model, you can create it from here and also you can create it from file and new. Uh, model or chart or library. So these things we'll explore in the upcoming videos. And in the edit option, you have option to copy, cut uh, and delete uh, the blocks. Uh, and uh, in the view option, you have uh, again library browser uh, present here. From here, it's here also you can just open library browser and add the blocks. And also uh, you have option to uh, option called model explorer. So in the model explorer, if you double, if you click, you have option uh, that is you have both the workspace as well as model workspace of your model uh, here so that you can add or delete some of the input output options from here. So that was regarding the model explorer option. Then uh, what else we have here is the simulation. Yeah, in the simulation, you have option to run uh, your model. Once your model is ready, uh, you can just uh, run uh, from here as well as you have option to run uh, here as well and also you have another important option that is model configuration parameters so here uh, the first option would be solver you can uh, set the simulation time that is the start time and the stop time of your simulation 
and your solver option like whether you want the solver type to be <clears throat> a variable step or fixed step fixed step is a real time uh, uh, solver and uh, variable step is like you will be able to go back in steps in time and you can execute and uh, the other option that is uh, uh, important and available here is the data import export option so you can import or export the inputs just you just click here and you can add the initial states or uh, input value from here and you can just import and export the inputs from here yeah then this was regarding the model configuration parameters then you have yes the code uh, code generation you can generate c c++ code as well as hdl code from here then the other option that is pra present here is like uh, the step option you can step from here uh, forward and backward as well as you have another uh, you have an option to set the simulation stop time from here yeah so this was all regarding the uh, simulink uh, introduction to simulink uh, if you like this video uh, please give it a thumbs up yeah thank you